to keep the hope alive in the playoff race. They're in Baltimore where the Ravens have been out of the race for two months. Brad Johnson, the former Ravens, Travis Taylor. Vikings go up seven zip. That is the Visa Sky Cam play of the game. Ravens at their own 37. Kyle Bowler had a huge game. So did Derek Mason. Nice catch, first down. Tremendous ability to hang on to it. A few plays later, Ravens are at the six. And Bowler finds Todd Heap. This is a heap of trouble for the Vikings. Touchdown, tied at seven. Heap was huge in the first half. And that was an afterthought in the second. Second quarter, Johnson over the middle. Corin Robinson here in footsteps. And now he thinks he hears reindeer. Take one more look. <laughs> Crushed. Penalty on the play. Drive alive. Same drive. Vikings second and 25. Second and 25. Troy Williamson. After burners down the sideline. Would look like it would pick up about 8 or 10. Goes big all the way down to the Ravens 16. Baltimore missed a lot of tackles, uncharacteristic for their defense, but the Vikings' D was even worse. Johnson, Jermaine Wiggins, cannon shot, 14-7. They'd lead 14-10 at the half. Jump to the third quarter, 17-10 game, third and seven. Third downs difference in this game. Bowler, Mark Clayton, and he goes in. The Ravens were a remarkable 10 of 15 on third downs. Later in the third, it's third and 13. Bowler, Mason, got it. Mason went for nine catches and 103 yards, both season highs. Last quarter, same drive. Bowler, you want to buy a pump fake? Look at everybody coming. About face. Who's open? Mason. Bowler went 24 of 34 for 289. Ravens up 24 20. Vikings seeing their playoff hopes go down the tubes. 27 20. Thomas. The force fumble. Anthony Weaver recovers for the Ravens who hang on and win it by a score of 30 to 23. Bowler was huge. Mason outstanding. And with this, the Vikings are done. There will be no postseason. The big winners, the G-Men. They can win the NFC East if they can beat Oakland at Oakland Saturday. If they lose, they can still claim the division if the Redskins lose at Philadelphia on Sunday.